Hi everybody, I am going to talk about Grave Encounters. And I'll talk some about Grave Encounters too as well. Uh, the first one is on Shudder, but for some reason mine on Shudder wasn't working. So I had to go into Prime to watch it. And Prime has both of them. It has one and two. But Grave Encounters, uh, it was like a festival movie and I believe both of them were. I, I wouldn't quote me on that one, but I'm pretty sure both of them was. But uh, it was 2011 and my MDB gives it a 6.1 out of 10 stars. It's basically like a reality TV show as reality TV show ghost hunters find more than they ever hoped in an abandoned psychiatry hospital. I really liked this when I first seen it. I think I rented it shortly when it first came out. But it's kind of shot like a documentary type. But it's also kind of like watching like one of those ghost shows like Ghost Adventures or something. Probably more leaning more towards Ghost Adventures than Ghost Hunters or stuff like that. But it's leaning more towards like a Ghost Adventures type. You know how they're kind of crazy acting. Um, look at my notes because it's been a couple days since I've watched I'm really behind on my videos once you get about halfway and that's when it starts getting like totally unrealistic and just outrageous crazy stuff starts happening uh, it's still good but it does get outrageously crazy they all get trapped. All the exits end up leading back into the asylum, so they can't leave. The entity has them trapped inside, so they cannot leave. It is, I think, a very good underrated ghost um, movie, paranormal type movie, that goes from realistic to outrageous like about halfway through. It does have good scares. The people do get panic and there's a lot of screaming at each other in the first one. It, just a lot of yelling, almost about how Blair Witch ended up being at some points. But I think Blair Witch calmed it down a little bit. They went like this bad. I could be wrong. It's been a minute since I've seen Blair Witch. But there's a lot of screaming at each other and... That gets a little annoying, but I still like this movie. It does keep you tense waiting for the next scare. It's like a ghost TV series crossed with like House on the ha um, Haunted Hill remake and Blair Witch. If you don't, you'll, once you see this movie, you might get where I'm going with this. It also has a little bit of homage of the original Day of the Dead in one scene, which I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, back when this like first came out, the scene that I'm talking about, which I don't want to give away, but it's the homage of the original Day of the Dead. I remember, I think that, that some people like made little snippets, I think they're called gifts or whatever now, of that scene was passing it around as like, real life stuff now i could be wrong that could just been like advertising of the movie as well because i don't think i was really present online as much <laughs> as i am now so i could be wrong of how i remember that but i do like this movie it like i said does get outrageous but it's still worthy to check out i do recommend this movie especially if you like those uh found footage type movies documentary type movies but they're not really documentaries, um, ghost movies. Even though it does get outrageous, it does kind of have a little bit of a real life um, element to it. A little bit, not a whole lot, because you know it's not really happening. But I give this movie also a six out of ten. I really enjoy this movie. And I immediately watched Grave Encounters 2 right after that. It is a 2012. IMDb gives it a 5.1 out of 10. And film students break into an abandoned asylum, the same one from the first movie, to research 
the first movie's claims, but quickly discover ghosts are very real. <coughs> Excuse me. Where they are tortured at the hands of the terrifying study subjects. They actually talk about the first movie. Like, people are legit holding the DVD and giving, like, reviews. It's like they had people do pretend reviews. Or they could have actually pulled reviews off of YouTube. I'm not sure how they did it. But they had actually had people reviewing the first movie. And there was... Because people... They was trying to pass it off as fake and this DVD and whatever. But it's supposedly these students like no this one guy in particular is like no this is real so they go and invest that's why they want to investigate it it's another documentary type paranormal ghost setting it's pretty much just like the first movie it does go over top as well they get trapped just like the first movie. It's the same level of scares and outrages as the first one. They don't really lack, you know, like some sequels kind of lack a certain thing. It's pretty much the same, at least in my opinion, it's pretty much the same level as the first movie. And the creepiest ghost, I think, that is in this movie is actually on the cover of this movie. Rogue, no. Sorry, Rogue's in here with me. And like I said, I enjoy both of these movies, even though it's very outrageous. I give this one also a 6 out of 10, because I really enjoy both movies. And I really like the ghost in the second one that kind of comes out of a window or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a little opening in the wall that he comes out of. It could be like a small elevator or something what they call butlers or window. I'm not sure what he comes out of, but it's not like a normal door that he comes out of. It's like something small that he comes out of. And I really like that ghost. And I know, I know there was a phase in movies for a while where they, you know, they look normal and then their faces get elongated and their eyes and mouth get all black. And that kind of got tiring, but I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. It kind of started from these movies. It's more present in the second one. I want to say that there's one in the first one, but I don't remember. I think more of the ghost in the first one is more Haunted House of the Haunted Hill remake. I don't remember it in the first one, but I remember it in the remake of Down the. Yeah, I think there is the, the ghosts I'm talking about. I think do get that eyes and they scream and their mouth turns all black and everything. But I do both like both these movies. I give them both 6 out of 10. They are both on Prime. The first one is on Shudder. But for some reason, I don't know why, my copy of Grave Encounters on Shudder was not working. I tried and tried and tried. It kept telling me to check my internet connection, but other movies was playing. So I don't know. Maybe they're getting ready to pull it from Shudder. I'm not quite sure, but... For some reason, it wasn't working for me on there, but Prime does have both of them. It could just been something with my app or something with the internet. I'm not quite sure what happened with it, but if you ever went to see both of them, they are both on Prime. So go check them out, especially if you like paranormal ghost type movies that aren't quite real. And have fun watching. <laughs>